hi everyone welcome back to my channel hope you're all having a lovely day now today's video is going to be my candle empties video which i mainly burnt through i'd say end of october early november through december i have quite a few candles here actually for me this is quite a lot <laughs> i do like burn a lot of wax as well and i'm not always home load so anyway um yeah as i said these are mainly festive candles which i burnt over the festive period i do have full reviews on these on my channel as well though so if you want to see a more in-depth review whether i'd purchase it or not etc etc just have a look in my videos and you should find them they're pretty easy to find but i have some candles here from yankee candle audi glade goose creek bath and body works and dw home so let's just dive right in i'll try and get through these as quickly as possible for you but the first candle i'm gonna you know is an empty <laughs> is from yankee candle and it is season of peace now the main one thing i'd say about this candle i did i did think the label was beautiful when there was wax in there it was absolutely gorgeous a beautiful stunning looking candle which would be great for fest um the christmas time to use it in like in the middle of a table as a centerpiece at absolutely beautiful it was 20 pounds or around about that in my local yankee candle store that i've heard, they're heard even they are increasing the prices so which i think is a bit of a shame i don't really buy loads of, especially the larger jar yankees anyway anymore anyway um unfortunately would i purchase this candle again no hardly any scent throw whatsoever it did actually soot a little bit nothing too crazy i had to use foil around it to get a bit more of a wax pull not all the time though no, but yeah not a great candle this one for me okay the next candle i have here is from dw home in cinnamon bun i did think this looked really quite cute i picked this up in my local tk maxx and it was a really really good price for six pounds 99 had two wicks and that's how it looked like at the end um would i purchase this candle again probably not um the scent you actually picked up on was mainly cinnamon not bakery enough for me if i'm if i'm getting a candle called cinnamon buns i expect there to be a bit of bakery and i mainly just picked up on cinnamon so it wasn't terrible if you like cinnamon you probably like it but i wouldn't purchase this candle again the performance wasn't great either as i has, as i said i do have full reviews on all of these but yeah i wouldn't pick this up again the only thing i don't think i would anyway because the only thing that was really good about this was the price really really good and really affordable okay the next candle i picked up was only two pounds two pounds a glade one of these little glade candles i think it was in spiced orange cute little candle actually and this actually looks really nice when it's lit up it, the orange color does look really really nice and i used this in my bathroom as it's a smaller candle and so impressed of it it was a lovely spicy orangey scent perfect for the festive time it didn't burn perfectly but i didn't expect it to but it was actually quite strong in my bath bathroom i was really really surprised would i purchase this again i definitely would for two pounds you can't go wrong and i really really could smell it i could smell it more than yankee and that's 20 quid and this is two pounds so it's like a no-brainer to me okay the next candle i have here is from goose creek and it is in a two wick large tumbler in christmas cookies um this did as you can see around the sides smoke a lot a lot a lot a lot and you know what the scent was really really weak um a couple of the goose creeks i've burnt lately haven't been too strong and unusual for goose creek they're normally so strong but i couldn't really smell this at all much towards the end it was mainly a vanilla scent not really bakery if that makes sense um the you know it actually burnt okay the wax pool was okay goose creek wax pools are normally really really good anyway you don't normally ever have to worry about the wax pool of goose creek the smoking is always an issue always an issue and due to that fact um this is one of the american brands i can actually pick up in the uk unless they sort out the sitting issue i will not be buying anymore because the amount of soot is just a joke um too much sitting it's like there's a fire going on in your house crazy but i wouldn't pick up this candle again because couldn't smell it enough and what i did smell was just vanilla and not cookie so nope wouldn't be getting that one again okay next candle is another cookie scent it's christmas cookies from aldi this is just a very very small tin candle and didn't burn great as you can see here i got this in the sale last year well yeah it's last year now <laughs> and the thing is that actually it wasn't nice it was a pleasant smelling candle it wasn't really bakery it was just vanilla and i burnt it in my um bathroom but you could actually smell it you could smell it so would i pick it up again maybe maybe not but i probably would if it was reduced <laughs> 
Okay, the next candle I have here is Tis the Season Warm and Cozy from Festive Home. And I actually picked this up in Boots UK. So I think this is their own brand of candles. I'm not sure, but I think it is. Let me just have a look on the back. It doesn't, yep, it's from Boots. So it's the Boots own brand. And you know what? This was okay. It didn't burn great. <laughs> it didn't burn great. But what it actually did smell of was like a coffee with like festive spices. And it was a nice, pleasant scent. Um was really really pleasant and it was i think it was free for two and they're only i think they're around about five pounds each so really really good deal again would i pick this one up again i probably would actually i probably would okay so my favorite empty out of all of these candles is so far is the bath and body works mauled cider i picked this up online last year had it in my stash and wanted to crack it open at christmas time because it is such a gorgeous scent so strong perfect burn no need to worry about tunneling anything like that such a strong scent throw smell of gorgeous mulled cider apples cinnamon and nutmeg to me absolutely beautiful look lovely nice and festive really really strong if you love strong candles try and get your hands on this though in the uk it's almost impossible now you have to get them on ebay so ugh, so annoying but i love this candle okay my next candle empty is from DW Home. Now, this is, God, it's quite a heavy candle, you know, this one, because it's a large glass jar. I picked this up in my local TK Maxx for £7.99. Um, I wouldn't purchase this again. On cold sniff, it smelt of like a coffee stroke cocoa. When you burnt it, it smelt of burnt toast and the performance, the actual burn of the candle was such hard work. Um, I had to foil it a number of times, still got a load of them, um, wax around the side, and it had a really, really strange scent burnt toast whenever i burnt it my boyfriend thought food was burning so really really weird one and my last button sorry i've got to grab this one around the front my last candle but not least is one i burnt a bit earlier in the year actually but i haven't done a candle empties video pumpkin pie from goose creek again sitting always a huge huge issue um this was okay not as strong as their other candles um normally their pumpkin scents are like whirl in your face and this wasn't so i was a bit disappointed so it just wasn't strong enough for me too much sitting so unfortunately i wouldn't get that one again so <sighs> I can take a breath now. <laughs> that is my candle empties video, my latest candle empties video. I do hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe if you're new and let me know how you've got on with any of these candles. I'd love to hear from you and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye.